Hello everyone, this is Lori uh, from AppTweak and today I'm going to be talking about how to take your Apple search ad strategy to the next level with ASO in this super hot context post IDFA. Now, as a quick intro for those of you who don't know us yet, AppTweak fuels growth for apps and games by providing actionable insights in a simple interface. Um, essentially since 2014, uh, we strive every day to build the most accurate, transparent, and easy to use ASO tool. So if you're looking for one, feel free to let us know. We'd love to help. Um, so AppTweak has grown a lot uh, in the past few years. Just only in the last three years, we actually grew uh, our revenue by almost a thousand percent. So this is super impressive. Um, what makes AppTweak unique is that we keep on releasing new features. Uh, just in the last year, we released uh, over 50 innovative ASO features. Uh, so today we make uh, over 1,500 happy customers. Uh, the team is growing, continues growing. Uh, we're actually hiring, by the way. Um, and because this is Women's Month, I also wanted to highlight the fantastic uh, opportunity to represent women that much in a tech company, uh, as almost half of the team are women at that week, uh, including 50% of the C-level. All right, so the agenda for today is going to be pretty straightforward. Um, we're going to start with some useful reminders around ASO and IDFA and what's, what's going on. Um, and then we'll talk about the Apple Search Ads exemption opportunity. And lastly, I'll give you three main tips at how you can actually leverage ASO for your search ads campaigns in order to make them more successful. So let's get started with ASO in 2021. Well, essentially, it's still the same process, right? So you want to continue to update your app product page to improve its visibility uh, over its lifetime. So it's, this is a clearly ongoing process uh, requiring many iterations and updates uh, every month, uh, if possible. Uh, and the goal is to really maximize the appeal of your app page to store users uh, in order, obviously, to uh, increase your downloads. So it starts with optimizing your metadata, including your title, your subtitle, your keyword field. Um, but it's also uh, obviously involving store creatives. And that's an important aspect we'll tackle today as well. Lastly, ASO uh, extends to also improving your reviews and ratings, but also to monitor product updates and uh, also to support inorganic traffic. Uh, and so we'll cover this in, in this presentation today. Now, about the um, IDFA and the new app tracking transparency framework that will be rolled out anytime soon, I'm not going to spend too much time on this because we have a lot of sessions today covering this topic, but you know this is happening. You know we'll have a significant drop in user access to IDFA. So this will definitely impact the way you run campaigns today, right? Uh, we also know that Apple will develop and has already this privacy-friendly um, attribution solution called the SCAD network, but this clearly will um, clearly affect how you uh, attribute post installed events. Um, and so we have to say that uh, individual targeting is now over with these new changes. And so your ROAS will see fundamental changes in the approach, uh, probably shifting from a deterministic to a probabilistic approach, um, where, yeah, this is definitely not going to make things things easy for you, but I hope that you, you're getting ready and there are obviously solutions to, to work around that. But here my main point is that there is an exemption here with Apple search ads. Uh, obviously, uh, Apple will make things easier for its own network. And um, Apple has um, announced that there will be uh, some sort of relative exemption for the ATT for Apple search ads in a sense that uh, Apple's ad network will get preferential access to users' data. Uh, we also know that the constant tracking pop-up will not be shown uh, in the App Store for Apple search ads. Um, and lastly, Apple search ads will be opt-in by default. So this represents a huge opportunity for marketers to actually consider shifting a portion of their ad budget through increasing their budget spend on search ads. And we actually highly encourage you to take advantage of this opportunity. Um, and so this is why I want to uh, show you today that you can actually already leverage existing data and what you already have from your ASO teams 
to uh, maximize your search ads campaigns if you are willing to intensify your efforts with ASA, right? Um, so the first thing uh, when starting and getting started with the, uh, Apple search ads is to actually simply talk to your ASO teams. They might have already collected a lot of information to, to help you get started with Apple search ads, right? Um, and so what you can do is simply check with them the keywords they've already looked for, for your um, organic campaign for ASO, for your product page, by uh, checking the, the, the list and the keyword clusters they've already elaborated uh, for their own purposes, right? And here you really want to rely heavily on Apple search popularity, which will tell you how popular a keyword is. And obviously you want to run campaigns on keywords that are fairly popular. Um, also, you want to see with your teams which keywords you're actually ranking well organically, because this can definitely uh, help improve the uh, efficiency of your Apple search ads campaigns. If you target keywords you rank well organically, then you are increasing your, um, your performance for your search ads, uh, obviously, as it's going to be uh, very relevant for the uh, algorithm to see you're doing well on one side, they'll favor you on the other side, right? And Lastly, you want to also track keywords that are targeted in Apple search ads by your competitors. ASO tools like Aptree can help you provide all this information. Uh, we indeed uh, are able to show you low-hanging fruits or keyword opportunities that your competitors have considered and are currently targeting in their search ads. So by collecting all this information, all this data, you can have a great start for your Apple search ads campaign. Now, the second point I want to make today is, and it's probably the most important one, is that you really want to have this open channel between ASO and ASO teams. You want them to work together, to communicate and to coordinate their efforts. This is crucial in order to optimize both performance from both sides, right, the organic and the paid side. Um, as you know, all traffic eventually arrives on your app page. So it's super important to make sure that your app product page is optimized um, because if you're spending a lot of money on, on, on search ads, you want to make sure that you convert at the end of the day, right? So make sure to optimize your metadata and your creatives, keeping in mind that a lot of um, users will land on your page. This can help to optimize your CPI and your IOAS. Also, we've seen uh, that IOS long description is a relevance factor for your Apple search ads. So this is one more reason to make sure you optimize your metadata. Lastly, you can use ASA data this time to optimize your ASO campaigns. So you see this is really this idea of a win-win where both teams have to work together. Um, using ASA metrics, you can optimize your organic campaigns because you can target keywords for your store listings that you know convert well thanks to the metrics you've gathered on the ASA uh, side. And you can also use ASA to test new keywords for your organic efforts. The last one I want to make today is to really encourage you to take advantage of Apple creative sets. So Apple allows you to create ad groups with keywords and creatives that would match together in a consistent messaging. So here what you should do is really take advantage of all the screenshot slots that you have on the App Store for your app product page and let Apple know the screenshot that you'd like to display for a certain keyword group for your campaigns. So in the example I give here, we have a fitness app that focuses on fitness, diet, workout, weight loss. So you see multiple value propositions. They can be all uh, coordinated with some specific ad groups for your search ad campaign. And this will definitely increase your conversion if your keyword set is matching your visuals. This is so overlooked, but I highly encourage you to look deeper and we can also help you out to set everything up. So that's it for today. I hope that you learned something. I hope that it makes you want to definitely uh, increase the conversation between ASA and ASO teams in order to leverage each other's results. Uh, please feel free to reach out in the chat. We're here to help and answer all your questions. And you can also book a demo to AppTweak directly on our website. And lastly, you can grab a 20% discount for the first three months if you're willing to give AppTweak a shot. Thanks again and talk to you very soon.